If you're a chocolate and peanut butter lover, and you're a chocolate peanut butter together lover, we're gonna be making some low fat, low sugar, low carb, chocolate covered peanut butter balls. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love it. Look at this. Yes. Yes. It showcases the beauty. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> Guess what? I'm so excited to do this video for you. Lazy snack hacks for weight loss, dudes. Why are they hacks? In the beginning, <laughs> we had a lot of weight to lose. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each. It took us two years to lose the weight and we've been able to keep it off for five years now. In the beginning, Kyle was almost 400 pounds. I was almost 300 pounds. We knew we needed to lose weight, but we knew if it was gonna last and we were gonna be successful, we needed to not give up treats. We needed a plan where we could like our food, not give up treats, but also we needed what treats we had to not stop the results of our weight loss. In come the snacks we're gonna show you. They're so good, they're fast. Number one, they're super fast to make and easy. Anyone can make them. Two, they're fairly low in fat, sugar, and most of them are pretty low in carbs. They don't taste like diet food. If you like sweet stuff, you like chocolate, you like popcorn, you like the sweet, you like the salty, you don't wanna give it up. Come along and let's do this. <laughs> First one, Kyle and I love yogurt and berries. We really love Greek yogurt because it has a lot of protein, it's very thick, and we like the plain fat-free because you can flavor it however you want without any added calories, sugar, fat, you name it. It's not only is it versatile, but you can make it taste like a dessert with what you add in, and it's good for you. In here, I've got half a teaspoon of coconut oil that I have melted and poured on top of half a cup of this fat-free Greek yogurt, the plain. Kyle taught me this trick. When you pour it over and you let it sit in the fridge, it makes a coconut oil crust. It tastes so good. It tastes like coconut fudge. Yeah, so heat up your coconut oil, which is a good source of your healthy fats, and then pour it over top of your yogurt and let it cool and you get a crust. And then, half a cup of frozen berries that I let thaw overnight in the fridge. As you can see, they're already thawing and there's berry juice. The berry juice also flavors the yogurt naturally. And we've got blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And then on top, what I do is I put half a tablespoon of these stevia sweetened, these stevia sweetened chocolate chips. Find them at, in our grocery store in the health food aisle and half a tablespoon of chopped walnut pieces. Like, you get your sweet, you get your yogurt, your berries. It's like a parfait. It is, and it's so good. Second, pudding. I am putting lever. However, even fat-free milk contains a whole bunch of carbs and sugar. And the non-dairy milk, it does make pudding, but it doesn't make it that great pudding consistency. And it doesn't pack a lot of nutrients either. So, we discovered this trick, Premier Protein. It comes in a package of four, like this. What I love about this stuff, it's got 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, three fiber, it's 160 calories, it's got three grams of fat. Anyone can drink this stuff, and we're not sponsored by this company, by the way. Even though we should be, Even wink. We should be. <laughs> Wait, wink again? She can't wink. <laughs> so, and it comes in a ton of flavors. This one is the chocolate, and we got the fat-free Jello pudding mix, the chocolate. Now we get the fat-free because the fat-free also has barely any, it has no sugar, eight carbs, and no fat for a quarter of the package. So we mix two cups of the Premier Protein with a package of the fat-free Jello. It comes in a bunch of flavors. We've got butterscotch, we've got the chocolate one, and then we have the vanilla. We mix them together and we've got them stored in these containers. Kyle and I just split the box 
And so one for each of us. And then we top it with three big scoops of this low fat. It's 95% fat free Cool Whip. This stuff is so good. This tastes like, honestly, like a real dessert. When we eat this, we don't feel like we're missing out at all. It really keeps us on track and it helps us look forward to our days and our meals. And then if we're not feeling pudding, because the pudding has eight carbs. So if you're not feeling eight carbs or 16 for half a pack, this has no carbs, jello. And this is the five calorie per cup jello. It comes in lime or strawberry in our grocery store. It's got no sugar, no fat, and no carbs. Five calories. We each have two usually, two cups. And again, we top it with three big scoops of this 95% fat-free Cool Whip. It is so good. Like, honestly, when we know we're going to have this for a dessert, we want to eat all our meals. We want to work hard in the gym because we get a really cool dessert. It really keeps us on track and loving what we eat. Kyle and I yo-yo di dieted for the majority of our life. We took away food groups, we took away treats, and every time we did that, we failed. So this time we knew we had to keep treats in. We ate these treats and we lost 130 pounds each. We've kept it off for over five years now and we're still going and we still go for these. We have been loving um, rice cakes and a protein shake post-workout. I'm showing the Premier Protein, but sometimes we do a scoop of any type of whey protein with one cup of egg whites for Kyle or non-dairy milk for me. And we've been loving rice cakes. Now, we love rice cakes because they're fairly low in fat, sugar, and carbs, and they come in a ton of flavors. We love the butter popcorn and we love the white cheddar. The butter popcorn. When Kyle and I were losing weight, like we loved going to the movies. This is why it's a diet weight loss hack. Because movie popcorn is, it's our thing. It might be more my thing than Kyle's thing. Like I love movie popcorn. And to go to the movies when we were losing weight and not have popcorn was really difficult. These taste like movie popcorn. So we used to bring these. And we used to bring our yogurt or pudding. And we used to bring that in my burst in the movie theater. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> and we felt like we were eating movie popcorn and we weren't missing out. So two of these we usually have with a protein shake. But if you ever, like, you don't want a protein shake or whatever and you want a little sweet treat chocolate nightcap, Sometimes rice cakes and a light hot chocolate, I love hot chocolate, so the light one is pretty low in sugar, fat, carbs. One of these with some rice cakes, you got your sweet, you got your salty, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next one. This is a little bit hard to sneak in your purse, so um, we ate this one and eat this one at home. And one time I tried to bring the microwave in the movie theater and pop it right there and it was just a d disaster. Didn't go over so well. So this is Smart Pop. It's 94% fat free. I, don't ask me why they, it's 94%, I don't know. So 94% fat free. This stuff is so good because we usually eat the whole bag and it's like barely any fat in it. And it's way better than Skinny Pop. Yes, so what we do is we pop this, spray it with butter flavored cooking spray, and then we pick whatever flavor of kernel seasoning that we're feeling, and we sprinkle it on. Toss the bowl, toss the popcorn in the bowl, spray the cooking spray again, and then do another shake of this, whatever one. You're having flavored popcorn, you get your craving out, you can have whatever flavor you want. Sometimes we put all the flavors we have on one bowl. <laughs> you get a big bowl of that popcorn and it feels like you're eating a lot for a very little amount of calories and stuff. Those are the majority of the snacks. Now we're gonna bring out the PS de resistance. I was craving peanut butter balls the other day and I said, hey, I wonder if I can make low fat peanut butter balls with powdered peanut butter. Lo and behold, I did. So I covered my plate with some parchment paper. Then I took 
one cup of powdered peanut butter. I like to use the one that says no sugar added. Otherwise it does have some sugar in it. So plain no sugar added powdered peanut butter. One cup of that. Then I put in what a quarter cup of this Swerve icing sugar. It's a sugar replacement. So basically it's sugar free icing sugar. Then I put a teaspoon of vanilla extract and I mixed it in. I mixed in a third cup of water, cold water, and then I whisked it in or beat it in with a fork until it became a dough-like consistency. It's going to be a little sticky and that's okay. If it gets too sticky, sometimes I spray my hands with cooking spray, but I didn't have to this time. So I took a tablespoon full of the dough, rolled it into a ball. It made eight balls, and now I'm gonna cover them in chocolate. Yeah, best part about this, no bake. And, oh yes, I forgot to tell you, I put them in the freezer once I rolled them out. You want them to be pretty frozen so that they roll in the mixed chocolate, in the melted chocolate. So we're gonna take half a teaspoon of this coconut oil and put it in. Now the reason I like to put oil, coconut oil, in with the chocolate is because I find when I'm making chocolate covered things, it just makes it cover a lot smoother for the chocolate. I'm using again, this is the Krizda brand. They're stevia sweetened chocolate chips. So they're very low in sugar. I'm gonna use a half a cup of the ch chocolate chips. And now I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Okay, after 30 seconds, I give it a quick stir and then I'm gonna put it in for another 30. And I'm gonna keep doing that until it's melted completely. All right, at this stage, I'm gonna add another half teaspoon of coconut oil and do it one more 30 seconds and then we'll be good to go. All right, so what we're gonna do now that it's melted is we're gonna take one of these and we're just going to roll it in the chocolate. Then I like to take a fork and lift it out, drain it off a bit and then place it on my parchment paper. And I'm just gonna do that to all of the peanut butter balls. The song by Chef from South Park comes to mind a lot for some reason. <laughs> Why don't you sing it for us? <laughs> friends can whistle it in their head if they know it. Their friends will know it. They'll love it. All right, we're working on the last one. I'm gonna pull this out and if, you know, you want to add a few more calories if you don't care, you can add like chopped walnuts or anything you want on top to make them look fancier. I'm going to pop them in the fridge to set them now. I'll need about, depending on how frozen they were when you started, they might already be set or they might need a few minutes. These are going to need about five minutes in the fridge to set. And then let me tell you that if you're going to a party, or I actually just gave some of these away as a gift. Um, somebody did something really nice for me and I gave them some of these and I put a few mini M&Ms on top, put them in a nice bag. It makes a great gift and they're low sugar, low fat. So anyone that you know likes a sweet treat but not a lot of calories and stuff, hey. You're going to a party and you want dessert, but you don't want to eat like what everyone else is eating, like that's full of sugar and fat and stuff, you bring these, nobody will even know that they were made with powdered peanut butter. Yeah, just do a little a little tricky test and don't even tell them their no. diet food and I guess, I, I guarantee they won't even know. No one will know you didn't use real peanut butter. I guarantee it. All right, the friends, hope you enjoyed this video and that you're inspired to make some super fancy cool treats. Don't forget to check us on Instagram, at the collects. And don't forget to hit that bell. Ding! 
for notifications because you don't want to miss any more videos. If you didn't already, thumbs through this video. Like it up, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time. Have a great day. Peace, Coets. Oh. Ah, she disappeared. But not my hand. <laughs> and your body. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.